Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and question for today. Are you having problems with getting a GPS fix from time to time? Just without any very specific reasons, you cannot get a GPS fix on an airplane on a drone. I might have the... I don't want to say the solution, but I might have the reasons why you are having problems with getting a GPS thing, fix. And the reason is... Is it possible that maybe you are using some kind of the HD camera, especially those lately very popular split time HD, split type HD cameras, like for example, I don't know, Runcam Split or Cadix Starcher or I think Foxer Mix or some kind of other cheap HD camera installed somewhere relatively near like 20 centimeters from your GPS unit? Think, think. Take a look at the model. If yes, then yes, probably this is the reason why you are having those problems. Because a lot of HD cameras, especially the cheaper ones, not GoPros, GoPros are considered as safe. The cheaper cameras, and especially splits, are very, very, very RF noisy. They can be noisy on different frequencies, because it can be 400 MHz, 800 MHz, or around 1 GHz, which by the way, is one of the frequencies used by the GPS signal. I made an experiment. I've made an experiment that will show you that yes, the HD camera can be a source of the radio frequency problems and the GPS problems or the range problems. And But the type of the problems you are having really depends on the camera itself. So let's begin. To verify this, I set up a very simple experiment. Here I have the cheap, relatively cheap HD camera, which is Cadix Starshare, but truth to be told, it can be anything. It can be split, it can be, I don't know, run cam, it can be really every, almost every single one HD camera. Uh, GoPro, maybe not GoPro, because GoPro actually shields their electronics from the outside, but then yeah, GoPros are much more expensive. And over here I have the RTL SDR, which we are observing, the output of this we are observing right now, either here or here in the, yeah, in the small window. Right now, right now the camera is off and you, what you see in the graph is the background noise on the 433 megahertz band which is uh, it's not very popular right now in the rc hobby because we either use 2.4 gigahertz for control or 900 megahertz or uh, the gps is also not near close to the uh, 433 but some older long-range system use this no this is how the noise floor and, uh, and the signal is look looks like like where i live uh, there is quite close the hospital and a lot of hospital equipment is also running on 433 megahertz band so this is kind of noisy look look what happened when i will plug this thing on and the camera is powered you see you see how much uh, rogue noise the tarsher is generating right now on the normal use no problem but if i would be really 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 far on the 433 megahertz link i would probably would be having some kind of the uh, rssi problems now let's go to the other useful band which is at 800 68 where for example european uh, crossfire and r9 sits this is how this looks like in the with the on now off and the difference maybe slightly almost no difference now let's go to 915 megahertz by the way 915 megahertz this europe is very noisy because a lot of the gsm stuff is over there let's turn the tarsher on almost no difference so probably both r9 and crossfire would not be affected but now something really very interesting the gps 
Believe it or not, but GPS signal is really scattered among uh, many, many different frequencies. Some signals are at around uh, 1024, some signals at 1.5 gigahertz. So it's really like a lot of signals, a lot of data is coming at different frequencies. Let's go to 1025, where I don't remember which one signal is. This is how it looks like with off. You see, the noise level is more or less here. When I turn this, this on, immediately, immediately we went slightly higher. It's not maybe visible on the... I don't remember how this thing is called on the bottom graph, but the upper graph, if I turn it on, turn it on, you see, it went up, it went down, it went up, it went up, it went up. So, simple experiment, right? Nothing super fancy. Few bucks of the RTL dongle, super simple antenna, that's not even near the band we are really interested in. And a proof that, yes, yes, those those things can actually and are interfering with GPS. I turned it off. Now I change the range on the on the stuff. I turned it off. I turned it on, and uh, there is much more noise generated by the HD camera. Um, do I have any different camera right now on me? No, I don't think so. So, yeah, the proof is there. 1.5 gigahertz. Will we be able to see something over there? This is how it looks like with tertiary on, tertiary off. No, actually, absolutely no difference. It even looks better when tertiary on. Maybe it's jamming something. So, no, there's absolutely no difference. So, yes, HD cameras, especially cheap HD cameras, all the split kinds, but not only can and are interfering with different equipment you can have on your quad on an airplane. This tertiary can interfere with 433 MHz radio links and can interfere with the GPS. The interference can be transferred bo bo both by the RF frequency cut by the GPS antenna, but also on the electrical line. Different, I know that I think the splits Split V2, Split Mini V2 is interfering at 900 MHz, but not on 3, 433. Split V3 does the opposite, it interferes at 433, but does not interfere at around 900. But more or less all of them can interfere with the GPS signal, especially when the GPS antenna is hidden somewhere. So how to, how to live with that? How to, how to be able to use both the HD camera and the GPS uh, relatively close together. There's one trick mm, and it's not really shielding anything because shielding might or might not help some copper tape might indeed help if the copper tape is properly grounded but it's not really guaranteed. The trick is to first power the GPS, let the GPS get the fix which is the most important part of the getting the fix of, of like a, 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 keeping the, the track of the of the position in life and only then power on the camera, for example, using some kind of a switch. This gives more chance of obtaining the GPS lock with the HD camera, especially that one that is kind of relatively noisy, and then keeping this alive. That's all for today. Bye.